In this video, I'm diving into the liquid glass sample project and a flutter clone. I will uncover the subtle details that stand out the liquid glass's magic. Let's get started. Liquid glass Apple sample code, straight from Apple official website. If you're into building world-class apps, Apple site is an absolute goldmine for tutorials and best practices. You'll find a treasure trove of developer resources. Navigate to the sample code section. That's where the magic happens. Look for the landmarks project. It's Apple showcase for liquid glass. Click that download button button, hit allow, and boom. Ready to play. To develop using Apple Stack, all you need is Apple-provided tools. Let's fire up Xcode. Allow Xcode to access my local networks. Done. Trust and open the project from Apple. Check. Allow access to my downloads folder. Sure. What's new in Xcode? I don't care. Continue. Time to hit the run button and launch the app. Oh no, what's this error? A few moments later. I'm using an older version of Xcode. Also, Xcode version number was updated to sync with Apple's platform. Click download and install, and boom, build successful. That's the official Apple Landmarks app. We'll explore it later. For now, let's build the Flutter clone. Liquid Glass for Flutter. Currently, Flutter lacks an official Liquid Glass implementation, but I discovered a project called Liquid Glass Renderer. This enthusiast-driven project attempts to recreate Liquid Glass using the Flutter stack. Let's download and test it out. I'm using VS Code to kickstart a Flutter project. Just drag the project folder in and I'm ready to roll. Grab all the plugins, start, install, Flutter, install. I'm also hooked on FVM to keep my Flutter environments neatly isolated for each project. Let's fire off FVM Flutter Run iOS. Ugh, it crashed. Flutter config list. My Flutter project wasn't set up for iOS. I was missing the Xcode command line tools. So let's jump to Apple's website, hunt down the view download link in the additional tools section. Needed to sign into my Apple developer account. Finally, I downloaded the Xcode command line tools. Cross my fingers. FVM Flutter Run. Boom, it's alive. All right, let's start with the main interface of the landmark project. Here, we get a clean list of landmarks, showing a bold hero image at the top. Now let's dive into the detail view. This is where things get really interesting. The buttons here have a completely fresh look. Transparent, modern, and oh so clean. If you're using an HDR-supported iPhone, the high contrast differences pop like crazy. Apple's gone all in on making these UI elements stand out. Let's haptic touch the collection button. Boom! A context menu pops up. Apple loves hiding these advanced features for you to discover. It's like a treasure hunt. Let's check out the Flutter project. It's a simple setup, focusing on different accommodation spots. Honestly, I'm impressed by how fast the developers whip this up. They use the blurry effect that looks like liquid glass. Let's scroll through it. Yep, it's clean and functional. Not bad for a quick flutter project, but compared with genuine liquid glass, it is totally different level. Back to the official app, I've got to show you this liquid glass effect. It's not just transparent, it's next level. Watch what happens when we click on Niagara Falls. Slow down, see that? The button is context aware. It's transparent effect and text color change based on the background. Dark background, you get a white layout. Light background, black text. It's such a cool touch that makes the app feel alive. Now let's revisit the Flutter one where we've added Niagara Falls to the mix. Notice anything? Unlike the official app, there's no color change here, no matter the background. It's a bit static compared to Apple's dynamic design. While the clone gets the job done, it's missing that extra layer of polish. Let's move on to another detail. Take a closer look at the favorite button in the official app. The icon's width is slightly different, but for native iOS developers, this is no big deal. Apple symbol packs have all these icons ready to go. It's plug and play for devs, which makes building these apps a breeze. Small details like this show how Apple's ecosystem is built for consistency. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts. The liquid glass effect in Apple's app isn't just static, it reacts to your touch. I'm using a mouse cursor here, but imagine your fingertip moving across the button. The lighting shift shifts with your touch, following your finger's position. It's such a cool, immersive detail. Let's try it again. See how the lighting dances? Apple's killing it with this one. Let's check out the search bar. In Apple's app, it's context-aware just like the buttons. The text color and reflections adapt to the background, making it look seamless. Now, compare that to the Flutter clone search bar. It's Fine, but it's missing that dynamic flair. Sorry, Flutter, you're not quite on Apple's level here. I can't wait to see how users react when iOS 26 rolls out. Will they miss these effects in other apps? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, subscribe for more tech deep dives.